Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about something I think I've mentioned one time on video. I just don't know which channel. But one time in the past. And it's still something that is um, on my mind again, I should say. And, um, but not for any, because something is happening like this. But it's just something that um, made it come, bring, you know, brought it about, triggered it, in other words. This topic. And basically, um, it comes down to dysfunctional families and treatment of in-laws, okay? like a daughter-in-law or son-in-law by the parents-in-law. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, it should. But say, in, when the parents-in-law um, are helping them out, okay, let me, let me set it up. Um, say a woman and her husband move in when they're young, um, they get married, they, and then they run in across a little bit of trouble, the financial trouble, so they move in with his parents into their home, okay, so it's their home, they move in, and they, like I said, they, now once they move in, the uh, parents, they go about their lives like, you know, usual, as much as they can with having, you know, a married couple. And the one is their son and the other is their daughter-in-law. It still, it upsets their, in their own rhythm, okay, in their own home. Let's say that there's not any other children, you know, of theirs living in the home. So they've had their, they, they've had their empty nest. And then... In comes their, one of their sons and um, his wife. Now, what I have heard before, and heard before different people from different women, I'll say women in this this one, this scene, is that they feel somewhat disrespected by the mother, okay, by their husband's mother, their mother-in-law, and. Uh, because, but as the story unfolds, it's more like the daughter-in-law, you know, the young daughter-in-law, thinks that the mother-in-law, her mother-in-law, should do things a certain way like she thinks they should be done. Okay, in her own home. Okay, this, you know, this is the property, the house of those parents-in-law. That's their home. And they're helping these these two they're helping them so what would you think should I mean should their life have to change should they have to change because the daughter-in-law thinks things should be done a different way within the home no of course not it's their home it's their house they worked for it they went through all the stages in their life that they had to to get their home you know to raise a family you know, to get married, to raise a family, get on their own, all this kind of stuff, whatever it is, they already been through all that. So that's their home. That's their little, like, sanctuary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that even the right word? I could be using the wrong word. But, you know, it's theirs. It belongs to them. Now, can you, if you're on the other side of it, as the mother-in-law or the father-in-law, whatever, um, imagine somebody coming into your home and telling you how you need to do things. Because that's the way they think it should be. I mean, a simple, really simple example. Now, the, the, some this could actually be something much bigger. But, of course, you know, simple, small, what some would say petty. Yeah, there could be something more than just what's going on. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I've said this plenty of times on videos. You know, just because it's something petty, that it, that's not the, the important thing. It's what is the purpose. What is the reason it's happening? Like, okay, if the simple example would be, say the mother-in-law, she's used to washing dishes by hand. Okay, so she washes her dishes by hand. Now, the daughter-in-law is used to using the dishwasher. I mean, and it can be the son-in-law. It could be reversed, any of this, okay? I don't want to make it sound stereotypical, 
let's just say this is a situation. Okay. Now, the, say the daughter-in-law is adamant. You know, it, it must be done. It's, 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 she comes up with all these kinds of things to say that it's cleaner that way. It's healthier. It's more hygienic. It's more, you know, her way is going to be the right way. And she's very adamant about it. And she makes it well known in the, in the household. And she gets upset because her husband isn't taking her side. Her husband is, isn't standing up to his mother. You know, and then his father gets involved, and he shouldn't be involved. And she she wants to be the queen of the castle, when it's not her castle, and she's not a queen. Okay, she was maybe a drama queen, but no. And she gets very upset because she's not getting her way, and they're not listen, listening to her. They're not respecting her. It goes, she'll go down to that road, go down that road to say, well, they're not respecting me. They should respect my opinion. Not really. It's their home. And I know that's kind of difficult for some people to truly wrap their, their minds around. When it is somebody else's home, it's not for you to lay down the rules. It's not for you to tell them how to do things. And if you're wanting to talk about respect, maybe that whole scene, you know, that person needs to have respect for the mother-in-law. For the people who actually own the home. Okay. Where is that respect? And by the way, I am not one of those people who think in narcissistic ways that respect should be earned. No. Respect should be given to anybody unless they do something that takes away from it. Now, just not listening to you and not changing their ways because you say so is not disrespecting you. You're disrespecting them. By trying to tell them what to do in their own home and trying to tell people that your way is the only right way things have gotten quite twisted these days seriously in some respects they have got really twisted to where all the respect should be given to you know the one with the loudest mouth the one that throws a temper tantrum you know the adult temper tantrum seriously some people think that's the one that should be listened to when it's no and in a husband and wife situation, why would he take up for you in this? Why? When you're wrong. A, you know, that's like a friend. If, you know, if you have a friend who, you know, says, no, that's, you're wrong. That's their house. Why would they take up for you? No, a friend, a true friend, in my view, read the disclaimers in the description below this video on YouTube, but a real friend is going to tell you when you're wrong. Someone who really cares about you is going to tell you when you're wrong. Okay, otherwise, they're just blowing smoke, you know? And that's not a true friend. It's just going to say whatever you want to hear and not try to help, truly help you, which would be to get you to see that you're wrong. Okay? okay but true, some people, they don't want true friends. They just want people who are going to be, you know what they call yes men or yes women they, they don't want the truth okay goodness there's not that many people as usual they're usually all these right next to the door are usually taking up all many of these but i was kind of disappointed went in to buy well i went in there just really to buy one thing and they, they have these diet dr peppers that, uh, that are caffeine free and they didn't have them much I mean no store had them much during 2020 and 2021 they started becoming like a rare item but all of their sodas for and they're, not, they're not selling them yet at least not here not in any place I've seen in like um, two liter or anything other than the 12 can boxes whatever you call them. packages whatever but when you're selling them for $7.99, $7.99, or you could buy three and get a dollar off of each, um, that's still $6.99, well, well, I bought them, and one, I just got one, and then I saw that there, another place, they actually had the sale sign, that's a sale, I'm, I'm sorry, but anyway, I said, um, no thank you anymore, if you're going to have your prices that high, on just I mean, one item I went in to get. <laughs> yeah. eh, no, thank you. 
no, 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 thank you, not anymore. Had enough. Okay, I know some people say, well, it's inflation. No, nah, that's quite a bit. That's almost double of what they used to be. In fact, maybe literally when it comes down to it, it's close enough. Yeah, so anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay, now where was I? Um, I wonder what that building's going to be. Way out here. I hadn't even seen it. <laughs> wow. All of a sudden, two of them. Wow. Anyway, maybe something good closer in. But I'm going to Walmart now. I just need to pick up one thing there. Well, actually, it's two things. Whoa. SUV started driving for me. It does that around curves. <laughs> yeah. For some, yeah. It tries to center me when I'm going around a curve. First time it ever did that freaked me out. Big time. <laughs> And I knew that it did, did stuff like that, but not like that. Not that just it tries to center me. Yeah. Okay, what is going on up here? I don't know. And I'm going to need to be in that lane. Huh. Okay, that's going to get confusing. Yeah, so this is a drop vlog. You need to see what I see. But anyway, um... You know, people who, live, you know, need help from their parents, you know, one side, a married couple from one parent or the other, now you have to think, you know, why didn't the other parent take it on, you know, but especially if somebody is an empty nester, either one or both parents, and, uh, you know, that does change their lives. It alters what they're used to doing again, and uh, there will be differences in personalities, and there should be that respect for whose home is it? Whose house is it? Okay, who is the one who paid the mortgage or pays the bills? I don't care if you help pay the bills. It's their home. Now, I'm not taking up for it just because of my age. I did the same thing when I was, not the same problem, but I lived with my parents for a short while after we got married, very short. And, uh, I, I just really, I can't say over the, across the board it's, a, it's an unhealthy thing or any of that because one size doesn't fit all in these kinds of situations. It might be the best thing. It might turn out to be great, wonderful for all involved. It might, and it might not. And it could just be not temporary and they move on, literally move on. And, uh, but if somebody starts off complaining that the mother-in-law or the father-in-law, say the father-in-law has his ways of doing things, they both have, the, the couple themselves, it's their home, okay, it's their home, you can just pretty much end it right there, it's their home, you don't like it, there's the door, like I said, I'm not saying it just because of my age, I'm saying because I'm a social and behavioral scientist, I studied these things. I taught at college and university. But to, but what I have heard and seen in the past is that people will um, take up for the one who who knows how to play the victim. Okay, I don't know how anybody could get away with playing the victim. If they're trying to tell their mother-in-law in her own home or father-in-law in his own home, their own home, how they're supposed to do things. And it's not their home. <laughs> They're only being helped out. That's it. And then they play the victim because, you know, people like narcissistic, what I've seen most in my life, I'm not diagnosing them with the personality disorder, but I've seen the behaviors are usually like narcissistic histrionic blend of behaviors. And these are people who demand their way or they're going to wreak havoc. And they know how to do the smear campaign behind the back. They know how to do the smear campaign all around. And uh, cry, oh, poor woe is me. And, you know, they're, they're treating, mistreating me. They know how to spin it. They know how to, you know, like I said, they're, they're throwing baby temper tantrums. They want their way. And it has to be their way. And the parents, the people who actually own the home say, no, nope. here's the door. Okay, then they're, then they're going to once again play the victim. Oh, oh woe is me. Some people say, girl, you got what you deserved. <laughs> really? 
And then the same thing could be for if it were reversed, you know, or if it was the daughter against the father, any, or the father against, I mean, the son against the mother, you know, it's my, his mother-in-law, whatever. That's their home. God, I cannot see how, why it's so difficult. It's not really difficult because what is there is they want their way. That person wants their way, period. They probably know. Okay, this is wrong, but I mean, they may, they might. <laughs> Some people don't have any awareness of anybody outside of themselves. Some people, I mean, not, I wouldn't say 100%, but pretty bad. They can be. Those people do exist who think in those ways, and they can find friends, even family, other family members, even possibly his family members in this situation, this fictional situation. To, you know, pick their, you know, take their side. Sorry, you're wrong. All of you are. If you're, if you're siding with them, they're all wrong. Okay. Now, now, some people cannot feel anything, like unless they put themselves in their in their shoes. It's called empathy. And to put themselves in their shoes. Now, how can you do that if you're a young adult? What is, are your parents-in-law going to move in with you? How about a sister-in-law or a brother-in-law? Or maybe you're, whoa, <laughs> you have in-laws who are, um, like your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law have children who are teenagers and one of them is 19 and needs a place to stay. You know, see, something like that. Can you put yourself in that kind of position and that that younger person is in your home is telling you how to run it. Okay, or that parent-in-law is telling you how to run your home. Seriously, it's your home. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I've heard plenty of complaints from people saying that their mother-in-law or their father-in-law came over and started getting bossy with them, you know, telling them how to, uh, you know, how to, they should, how they should do their bills or how they should uh, take care of their children, you know, which would be the, their grandchildren. How uh, the, the married couple should, how the, they should clean their their home, both of them. They need to be on this and the, uh, going in the wrong way, but, yeah. Am I, am I, am I, I am. Anyway, that was my fault. <laughs> Even though it was somebody on my tail, it was my fault. Okay, I just, let's see. I went to a grocery store where I had to uh, check out myself, So, but I don't work for them. Then I went here to Sonic. <laughs> All my years, I'm 59 years old. I've been going to Sonic since I was a kid. Okay, I remember when I was in high school, uh, me and my friends would get in my, my car and we'd go down to Sonic for lunch. You know, we, I think when it was, I think what it was was Juniors and seniors could do that. Uh, leave campus for lunch. Well, I guess they would have to because some of those students were working part of the day, you know. But anyway, uh, we would go to Sonic and other restaurants too. But never, ever in my whole life have I ever, ever known Sonic to ask how much of a tip you want to give. A tip. I always thought they pay their people enough. <laughs> I know I'm being a, a royal, aren't I? But no, that's just, I mean, I'm, I'm s serious now. What are we not paying for these days? We're, we're working for the stores because they're not going to check us out. Some of them, they just, they'll have one in the line so long that, you, and the, even the ones that you check out yourself, sometimes the lines are long, okay? And uh, tell us how that benefits us as a customer. I know some people love it. Some people really do. Some people don't remember, I think, when they actually took the groceries out for you, too. It's like we're giving up and we're paying more and we're giving up, you know, so much. We're actually starting to work for them. And now we're going to be paying tips for, what is it going to be, a tip at every restaurant that, you know, everyone I mean, I can understand Sonic a little more because they do come out. Okay, but I, I, a, a tip is a gratuity that isn't asked for. 
in my life. But it's becoming more and more and more where people are holding out their hands in the in their company or whatever is allowing them to. To let's give us give us more money. We want more money. You know, that's like some people have said, I, I never I never pay things with cash, so I wouldn't really know. But some people were complaining um, much during 2020 and 2022 that they would go to these grocery, you know, go to stores or drive throughs wherever they were paying cash, and they wouldn't give them their, their change as far as, you know, like, not the dollars. They'd give them the dollars back, but not the qu coins. That they would not give coins back. Now that, whoa, I don't pay by cash, so I, I really don't carry cash. I think I carry enough in case something happened and I, I had to get some, like, gas for my SUV a few dollars worth and they they wouldn't take credit cards or something you know I can pay you know a few dollars for gas to get to where I'm going <laughs> I carry enough of that but uh oh here she comes okay but I want to say more about as far as tips I, th I guess in a way I have gotten pretty annoyed about the tips because like during 2020 and 2021 and once in 22 2022 I think but during 2020, especially, we had things delivered. And I was watching a lot of these people who were making videos about that they were delivered, they were the deliverer, they worked for the delivery services, they were the people who were delivering. And they were demanding the customers to give them tips and give them more tips, give them like 20% tip. Okay. They were demanding it. That, they, that it was all the customer's fault. The customer is all on the customer's plate. No, you can't complain to your boss because the customer was already paying. I know for a fact because I was one, paying more for the groceries, paying for more, paying more for pretty much everything being delivered, and then there's a fee for the delivery service, and then you want to, you know, a tip is a gratuity. It's it can be denied. They say, well, we don't we don't go to people who don't pay tips up front. Oh my God, I got so burned on that. I mean, just hearing it, I was thinking, man, they, they don't realize they're they're people who will stop using delivery service. They're they're biting the hand that feeds them. You know, seriously, they're fighting. They're biting the hands that feed them and demanding more. And some of them still doing it to this to this day really okay anyway I wasn't thinking that I was gonna go here but I had called Adam to go to Sonic you know if he wanted me to go to Sonic because I'm trying to go lessen my amount of eating out again yet again I go back and forth but uh, anyway um, so I wanted to cut down on that but I, I only come out here once a month and I like that when they're friendly people yay <laughs> like when I go somewhere that they're, they're friendly people so anyway but anyway I'll go this is a drive vlog it can go from one subject to another any of mine can <laughs> and do but uh, hopefully I'm recording here yeah I, I don't like that that um, the mount sometimes shows on it it's a new um, mount the other one was so bad and well, one of them broke and then I had to go back to the one that was so bad that I replaced and then I got this one and this is the only one I've ever had that the, the mount will show it's, it's really hard to get it to not show so that's weird but anyway <sighs> but uh and I can't see, always see if it's recording anyway so the, there are other kind of situations. Let's go back to what I was originally talking about. When it's a dysfunctional family, dysfunctional in-laws, toxic in-laws. Okay. Now, in the first one, it was the, it's the daughter-in-law. Like I said, that, that is the toxic one. You know, stopping her foot and wanting her way, and she, only she knows how, you know, it's supposed to be. Okay. Second one I mentioned briefly, you know, some, you know, you might have an in-law come and live with you, say. It can be any kind of, um, you know, it could be your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law. It could even be a parent-in-law, okay? Or a cousin-in-law, a niece-nephew-in-law. We don't call them that, in, do we? Do we? <laughs> I've never heard it say it anyway. Uh, like a cousin-in-law. Uh, what would be, 
the second cousin first removed, once removed, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, an in-law, somewhere, they're not always just the parents, but move in with you, and then try to, like, gang up, that can happen, with, um, like, it's, say it's your wife, and they gang up, um, you know, you, you don't like the way that they're, what they're doing once they're in your home. And you want to complain and say to your wife, you know, we need to have a discussion with her or him. And they can't be doing that. And your wife takes their side. That can happen. You know. And, I mean, there's so many different types of situations in which the in-laws, uh, whatever in-law kind of in-law it is, can really wreak havoc on your uh, home. If you try to help them out. Now, Adam and I are going through a situation where we're helping out uh, one of his nieces, which would you call her my niece-in-law? <laughs> I really have never heard anybody say that, but I don't think. But anyway, um, I mean, I'm not saying she's doing any of those. She's not. She's not. Okay, but, but the, the situation triggered me to remember, you know, some of the things I've heard people say about people. You know, they come into your home. And yet they're, they're going to want, want to run the show or gang up on you and tell you how to live your life in your own home. And there could also be, like, like I said, you know, we're helping his niece out, one of his nieces out, uh, just recently started. And it could be that, you know, she she's, hasn't done this. Like I said, it's just the thought that it triggered that this kind of thing could always happen. What if she didn't like something and she called her her parent and her parent called and tried to tell you uh, how to, you know, you're going to treat her in your own home? You know, like if one of them were to, you know, she would call her mother and her mother calls and tells, you know, us how we tr have to treat her in our own home. We could say, there's the door. Bye-bye. You know, really, it's our home. I'm not saying that anything like that happened. But, but it triggered these thoughts. Because there are some people out there, they do believe that they run the show. No matter what, whose show it is. In this case, whose home it is. But they believe that they tell people what to do. Yeah. Really, there are people who do that. Some people, they're like, no way. Nobody would do something like that, tell somebody how to how they have to be in their own home that's their pro their, that's their home okay that's their possession but some do okay now I've said all that what would you do if you were the person who was the home owner in any of those in any of them I mean you don't have to answer you don't have to think about it it's up to you I remember some, someone recently said they don't like speculative. <laughs> I'm like, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. You know, what would you do? They, 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 that was what it was. It was a what do you do kind of thing. What would you do? To each your own, bye-bye. There's the door. You know, if you don't like that. Really? No, I mean, seriously. <laughs> you don't have to answer. You don't have to like it. But now, let's go back to the thing. It's your home. In any of those scenarios, it's your home. And some people say, well, it's now their home. No, they're not paying. Well, they, it might be where they live, but it's temporary. And uh, some would say still, it's their home. You know, where, you know, if they got picked up by the police, well, where's your home? Where's your, you know, that kind of thing. But, okay, that's, that's getting, splitting things, yeah. And uh, anyway, what would you do? Get back to that question. I mean, me, I would say there's the door. If you don't like it, there's the door. Period. Seriously. Now, I say that, but I've done a video before about how would you really know what you would do in each situation. You really don't. You must say you do, but you really don't. Because so much depends on so many different things. You know, sometimes, it, depending on where you live, you would have to actually evict the person. Go through an eviction. 
even if it's family, it doesn't matter. If, even if they're just there for, you know, temporary, unless they sign, you know, even if they did sign a lease, possibly. I don't know. I don't know what it is everywhere. And don't know even know what it is here. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, some places I've heard these kinds of things. Like I said, I don't know. Okay, but I, but I think that there's a fair chance. It depends on who it is. It, like I said, it is a depends on situation. But there's a good chance, I would say, as soon as you can. And I mean, like today, you're out the door. You know, as soon as, you, as, soon as I can get you out the door, you're gone from here. Period. You know, have that kind of mindset. Because, uh, no, you're not coming into my home. Nobody is going to come into my home and tell me how to live my life. But some people, they, they just don't have respect for others. They think, they see the world revolves around them and it's all about them. You know, how they want things to be, how they believe things to be. And I'm, I've known people who, it, no matter what, I'm not talking about in your home, but no matter what you say to them, like you could say, oh, look, the sky is beautiful, um, blue today. It's a beautiful color today. They say, well, actually, it's really, well, there are clouds. They're going to, even if they don't say the word actually, it's, it's, uh, it's implied that they actually know more than you on the topic. You're just saying the sky is a beautiful color. They're going to ruin it by, by telling you in every sentence. I've known someone that you couldn't get a sentence out that they didn't say at the end of it. Well, actually, they, they would actually say actually. Actually, it's like, what the freaking crap? Who are you? The first time I met this person, first thing out of their mouth was actually, what the ever living? Okay, I didn't want to run, run over you squirrels, so do not run back out in front of me. Live, go on and live another day at least maybe <laughs> but anyway I've known people like that they, they are always right they always know better to them they use those words always you know they have that kind of mentality and all, it's all you know so many things that go together but really none of it's never one size fits all that I've ever seen in this kind of stuff there are always exceptions and you know to the rules i don't even like using the words always and never but you see what i'm saying but they think in terms of they are always right and you're always wrong i'm telling you that's like the most frustrating people to be around type to be around seriously to me it might not be to you i mean there are worse things than that as we all know but uh, it's also, to me, it's a kind of like a torture, you know. <laughs> uh, I, should not, I should not have laughed at that. But you see what I'm saying? Mental, mentally, someone sitting there in every sentence. You, you know, this can be, this was an in-law, by the way. Uh, and everything I said was, actually, it's this. The, 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 you know, and I finally told that person who was younger. I said, uh, you know, anybody can look up stuff on the internet that doesn't make it right and you're wrong <laughs> he was telling a freaking career student with degrees plural in her field that she was wrong <laughs> God. He, he, he's no longer in our life by the way not only was it out the door it was out of our lives so period and I personally I would not give anybody any advice, so nothing, if anybody comments, nothing is advice, because these kinds of people can be dangerous. When somebody believes, especially in my experience, when they believe that they are right and you are wrong, they can have some erratic behavior, you know, bad behaviors. Seriously, not, you know, it could be physical and or, you know, mental, emotional, socio, socioeconomically, on and on, there's so many kinds of so I would never give anybody any kind, any form of advice, none, or counseling, none, yeah, on this topic. Like I said, read the disclaimers in the description box below this video on YouTube. They should be there unless something happened, unless there is a glitch. But, uh, 
anyway, it was good to get out and get some things done. That's three places I went to, got those done. And uh, I was uh, it started off just to go do one. <laughs> you know, that never happened. Well, it does. I see I'm using that never word. It becomes a habit. I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.